Welcome to Noonday Prayer on Wednesday. We begin on page 103. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Let's continue with Psalm 121. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where is my help to come? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved, and he who watches over you will not fall asleep. Behold, he who keeps watch over Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord himself watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand, so that the sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. It is he who shall keep you safe. The Lord shall watch over your going out and your coming in from this time forth forevermore. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The scripture that we're going to think about today is actually that psalm that you've been hearing so frequently over the past past few months, Psalm 121. Just going back to those first two verses. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where is my help to come? So here is the, the person who is in distress for whatever reason, uh, a child, at home, afraid, where is my help going to come? Uh, somebody who is in California, who is, who is smelling the smoke of the wildfire, where is my help coming from, Lord, looking out? Uh, somebody who's in their second day of school and maybe they're sort of an icky clique and, and they're feeling uh, hemmed in or talked about, where is my help going to come from, Lord? And then the answer to that question, my help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. It's rare when we feel truly afraid and in need of help, especially when we're young, that we don't look to other things as our defense. In fact, most of us uh, very early on created defense mechanisms aspects of our personality to really create a wall of defense against the world because the world can be an unfriendly place. And of course, for a while, those walls uh, are very convenient. I mean, they can prevent us from being hurt. They can allow us to develop other strength. Um, things that we have invested in that create this wall can be something that we become really attached to. But there is always a point in our life, if we know Jesus, that he is going to knock. And he is going to ask us to dismantle that wall. He is going to tell us that our help is from the Lord the maker of heaven and earth. That this beautifully crafted wall, for all its outward appearances of being sound and reliable and good and effective, actually is a detriment to our growth. It's a detriment to our growth with God, but it is also a detriment to our growth in our relationships with other people. We all have these walls. But as we know the Lord, we are invited to dismantle them so that we can be open, so that we can look like Jesus who was open even on the cross. 
open in his exhaustion, open in his aloneness, open. That is who we are to be. So today, as you go through your day, you may reflect upon the walls that you built, that you may feel you had to build to keep you safe, and ask the Lord to show you what they were protecting. Maybe there's an inner healing that God wishes to do in you today. That old memory that you can ask God to come into and release and restore you and make you whole. Let us continue by saying the words that Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let us pray now for members of our congregation, for their physical health, for their spiritual renewal and their emotional encouragement. We pray for Brian, for Claire, Lila, Leo, Mark, Cindy, Mark Ryan, Meg, Carly, Susan, Betty, Chris, Joan, James, John, Jim, and Kathy. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I give to you, my own peace I leave with you. Regard not our sins, but the faith of your church, and give to us the peace and unity of that heavenly city, where with the Father and the Holy Spirit you live and reign, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.